Robert back here, Bluegrass Bushcraft. Okay, I've made it up here to my shelter. Rain slacked down a little bit again. But I can hear it thundering really loud. Background, I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not. Yeah. Old camera was on its last leg anyway. I think I got it wet. Some cloudiness in the screen. Anyway, it don't work half the time anyway. Oh well. Anyway, show y'all my shelter here. Kind of growed up up here now. Not many people making it down here. One point, they had posted signs on these trails. This trail's kind of secluded. Not many, not many people used to know how to get down here, and they put signs marking the trails. And when they did, you can see what started happening. Um, graffiti. I mean, they're coming down here, they're writing some nasty stuff on these cliffs. But, uh, come up this time, the signs were gone. And, uh, Pretty well growed up up through here. Not many people making it back up in here again. Yeah, it's for a while, I mean, it's all stayed beat down. As you can see, as you can see it's growed up pretty good. No graffiti. Don't know what happened to them signs. But, uh, anyway, like I said, it's, it's rained all weekend. Poured the rain. I got up there. I didn't figure I'd find any dry wood because I. I made many trips up in here. I've never seen dry wood back in this shelter. But, uh, but, uh, I went to church this morning. And something I need to do more often. I don't do near enough. Just go, been going once in a while. But, uh, I did go this morning and come up here today. And let me tell you, the Lord blessed me today. We're going to have a fire. Look here big dead tree it fell right inside the shelter now, it's not bone dry cause like I said it's rained all weekend it's, it's damp but I got fat woods so let's get this little canteen cup forward up here buddy let's go at it anyway it's here comes the rain again it's pouring but I am I'm in the dry I bought my See, I got my poncho spread across that rock, letting it dry off a little bit. I brought my sleeping pad just to lay on. I might, I might take my little nap while I'm up here. But I got me some ramen noodles. And I got some mystery meat. Pulled down my deep freeze. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's pork tenderloin again. But uh, we're going we're gonna to cook it up. Make some coffee, ramen noodles. Anyway, the main thing I'm here, the reason I'm here, is let's check out Billy Joe's modified canteen stove. Got a little water in it from the hike up here. Anyway, uh, Lumberman 2011. He wanted a close up of this thing. See what we can do for him here. Okay, this is the same type of stove like I sent John, the MI Woodsman. Only this one has been modified by. Billy Joe Denny. He took this expanded metal, I think of what you call it, type of a mesh metal material, probably about two inches, and uh, riveted it all the way around. And he drilled a few extra holes in the burner itself. 
Got that all open right here for feeding the wood in. So Y'all hear that rain coming in now? Fog setting in. But, uh, anyway, that is just one awesome setup right there. And you tell me that thing's not going to breathe. I got a feeling this thing's going to burn like a wildfire. Great job, Bill Joe. I mean, that's the best. That's the best setup I've seen yet. I mean, I really like this one. So, uh, let's see if we can find some fat wood here and see if we can get this thing fired up. I'm not pronouncing that right, but still, I'll probably never be able to pronounce it, but this is my Both even F1 gifted me by my good buddy Arn Lyon. That was gifted to me by my good buddy Bill Joe Jenny. Let me tell you all folks, the Bushcraft community on YouTube are the greatest. So I'm going to hurry and get this thing forward up too. Had this um, big lighter in my tractor. It's pretty wet. Let's just see if this thing is far up. I hate it like that. I'll have a little bit. a little quicker and trying to scrape dust and use the ferro rod. folks. Nothing like a fat wood far in the rain. I can hear that monsoon out there. 
what then hit me on the way up here. I think that's enough fat wood. Watch that thing burn. Burn. That thing is a flamethrower, let me tell you. seasoned out real good, but it's in my season. That little nasty we got to go. Smoke's falling and getting my eyes there. Anyway, Billy Joe Denny, that is one awesome setup, let me tell you. I mean, I love that thing. What's that thing? Flamethrower, I'm telling you. But as awesome as a setup that is, Billy, it was missing something. Or at least it was missing something from me. Well, I went in my shop last night and um, seen what I'd come up with. Check this out. The bottom of the bag. Love the signs right here, people. This is a heavy gauge stainless steel. Cut it out to fit that top of that stove perfect. And uh, not only will the cup set on it now when I set this on the top of it, that cup will set on there very easily without having to wedge it in or worry about it falling over. It'll set perfect now. Got little tabs on the sides, like little legs, four of them. That will uh, just kind of lock some place on top of the stove. And I really work hard on that. And uh, turned out turned out really well. I'm I'm, I'm proud of this one. Now, this is not for y'all gram weenies. This is a heavy stainless steel. Not real thick, but it's a heavy, it's, it's strong, it's stout. And uh, I think that's going to work perfect. Too hot yet? I'm gonna put some oil in there before I fry my meat. Let it let out a little bit. And a 
beep and phone. You come and walk on there. Clean it. First talking to you all and uh, that went burn out on me. Smoke them along his cough don't load it back out. Anyway, I got that uh, filled up to hold me a few minutes to build me up some good coals. And uh, y'all can see that thing's fired up. Anyway, this is already one on 19 minutes, so I'm going to cut you all off and um, build up a little more hot coals there. And I'm going to go ahead and boil my water for my coffee. Just drink me a cup of coffee. And. Um, Y'all have seen water bowl before, so uh show you something else I made real quick. Kind of hard to get out of here. Well, I said they had to come right out that time. Anyway, made me a lid from a canteen cup. Same way I made the grill top. And uh a little D-ring on top of it there. Take a piece of cut a slot in the middle. Shove a piece of aluminum around the D-ring, shove it through there, fold it over on the bottom. That way there's no rivets on the top. Works the same principle as the grill. It's got the four 
little notches or legs bent down that will grab the top of the cup. Actually cut this one just a little bit small. A little shy on this side right here, so I'm gonna make another one that's gonna fit a little bit better. But uh I think it's gonna work pretty good. Anyway, y'all know the routine. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll bring you back on here in a few minutes and when I try that grill to go on the top when I'm frying that steak, we'll see what it does. Alright, catch y'all on the next one. Thank you for watching.